Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will try to perform well modeling of a well with dual ESP. All right, so we will install two ESPs in a single well. Sometimes we have very high productivity, but the available ESP cannot achieve quite high production rate. So we need two or more ESPs in order to produce the oil at high flow rate, all right? Or maybe our casing is too slim so that only one ESP cannot produce the oil at high flow rate and therefore we need two or more ESPs, all right? And in this case, we will install two ESP in a single oil well. We will perform the modeling with PipeSim software. So we are now in PipeSim software. All right, let's start, general well name let's call it dual esp it is an active well well type production check valve setting block reverse you can input your comments here dual esp all right now we go to tubulars we select for the mode detailed and dimension option wall thickness all right so first we need to input the casing information Casing, we call it casing, starting from zero down to 12,000 with ID 8.681. You can follow me and wall thickness of 0 0.472 and roughness of 0 0.001. All right. This is the information for our casing. Okay, we can then go to the tubing. We input the tubing. We call it tubing starting from zero, of course, to 8,000 in feet. And the internal diameter is 3.958 with wall thickness of 0. 0.5. 271 and we can use the default roughness all right so far so good and you can see the configuration or the picture of our well is depicted in this side all right now we go to deviation survey we have 2d so it's a deviated well dependent parameter angle calculation method tangential depth reference original rkb well head depth at zero feet bottom depth of course at 12000 and you can follow me for this table starting from zero measured depth and true vertical depth and then 7500 it's still a vertical section and then 11600 This will be 10,827. All right, so this is the plot. True vertical depth against horizontal displacement. You can also get the data in the table like this one by clicking this icon. All right, now we go to downhole equipment. We will install Packer. So let's call it Packer. All right, we locate the packer at depth of 7,990 feet. All right, you can see the packer here. Now we go to artificial leaf. And in the pump leaf, we add ESP. Okay, we change the PCP to ESP. And we call it bottom ESP or BESP at depth of 8,000 feet, all right? And then we will add another pump. It should be ESP and we will call it top ESP or T-ESP, which will be located at depth of 7,600. All right. 
as you can see, we now have two ESPs, right? And now we need to input information inside our TESP first. Okay, so name TESP, active, measure that at 7,600. And now manufacturer, we select Okay, we will select Reda Pump GN700. All right, GN7000. All right, so we can click this one. Pump at number of 271, manufacturer Reda. Model GN7000 series 540 with range of flow rates. All right, we click OK. All right, as you can see, this is the information and this is our pump curve. All right, our pump performance curves, the head against flow rate efficiency the red line and the green one is the power all against flow rate all right you can see here manufacturer reda model gn7000 diameter of 5.13 inches series 540 with minimum flow rate of 5000 barrel liquid per day maximum flow rate of 9000 and let's say best frequency is 60 hertz, operating frequency also 60 hertz, and the operating speed will be calculated, almost 3,500 RPM. And the stages, let's say, we need only 45 stages with head derating factor of 0 0.96, rate derating factor one, power derating factor also one, and for calculation options, we select viscosity correction. All right. Because the pump curve here is constructed using water with viscosity of one. So we need to check this one, viscosity correction, so that the performance will be adjusted to our oil viscosity. All right, so far so good. You can also check the table here by clicking this one. We have flow rate, head, efficiency, and power in the form of a table. You can also check the variable speed curve like this one. Very interesting. With 45 stages, of course. All right. We go back to pump curve. Click this one. Now we go to bottom ESP. We click the bottom ESP. All right. So now we are in bottom ESP and it will be of a bigger size compared to the top ESP. All right, we call it BESP, active measure depth of 8,000 feet. And now we select the pump. We click this one, top 10 the catalog. Again, we go to Reda. All right, and now we will select the J series. J7000. All right, this one. Manufacturer, model, series, minimum flow rate, and maximum flow rate. We select. All right, you can see here our pump curve. It's here. Manufacturer, Reda, model, J7000N. Diameter of now, it's a bigger size, so it's 6.75 inches. Series 675, minimum flow rate of 4,500, barrel liquid per day, maximum flow rate of 9,000, best frequency 60 hertz, operating frequency 60 hertz, and operating speed will be calculated, 3,500 RPM, stages, we need only 40 stages, head rating factor 0.93, Rate derating factor one, power derating factor one, viscosity correction. All right, 
this is the pump curve and this is the variable speed curve with 40 stages all right okay now we go to heat transfer we select multiple ambient temperature input multiple also okay depth option measured depth so now you can follow me at zero feet the ambient temperature is 60 degrees fahrenheit with u value of 2 and at 11600 the temperature is 210 with the same u values all right this is the plot measure depth in feet against ambient temperature the blue line is ambient temperature line and the red line is u value line all right now we go to completions we add a completion let's call it completion okay geometry vertical fluid entry single point middle of perforation at 11600 all right, and the type perforation, of course, IPR model, we select Darcy. All right, now we need to input information in reservoir data. So reservoir pressure is 2260 PSIA with reservoir temperature of 210 degrees Fahrenheit. IPR basis of liquid, of course. Use Vogel below bubble point pressure. All right, reservoir thickness of 68 feet borehole diameter of 10.875 inches with reservoir permeability of 187 millidarcies. All right. And no need to use relative permeability data for the simulation. Reservoir shape option, drainage radius with drainage radius of 2000 feet. All right. Now we use transient model also with time 12 hours, porosity of 18%, with compressibility of 0.00078 per PSI. All right, you can follow my reservoir data, and we use transient model in the simulation. All right, and let's say the skin is zero for mechanical skin and rate dependent skin for simplicity. All right, now we go to fluid model. We add a new fluid model. All right, so let's call it BO fluid with water cut of 70%, GOR of 892, standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel, gas specific gravity of 0.83, water specific gravity of 1.02 and api gravity of 37 api all right no contaminant okay so far so good we can close this window we go to reservoir and you can see our ipr has been generated using darcy model you can also get the information in a table by clicking this one flow rate and bottom hole flowing pressure. All right. And you can see we have been validated. The validation message here. So now we can perform nodal analysis. All right. We go to nodal analysis. Create nodal point. Select location. Bottom hole, of course. All right, now you can see the nodal analysis point is located here, the NA icon. Now in nodal analysis window, general, branch start at reservoir, nodal point at NA point, branch end, of course, at wellhead. So outlet pressure here is wellhead pressure. Let's say the wellhead pressure is 300 PSIA. And inlet condition or inflow condition, 
reservoir pressure 2260 temperature of 210 all right let's say no need to do sensitivity we can now run nodal analysis all right beautiful we have generated our nodal analysis the blue line is of course inflow line the red line is of course outflow line or vertical lift performance curve right this is our operating point so we can achieve flow rate of 4260.5 stock tank barrel per day at bottom hole flowing pressure of 2130 psia all right you can also get the information in the table by clicking this one all right stock tank liquid rate pressure at nodal point okay all right so we can recap all right in this case we have performed well modeling in a single oil well with dual esp or two esps all right we have performed esp installation and we have also performed nodal analysis that's all i hope you enjoyed the video i hope the video is useful thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next pipe sim videos thank you